I'm joined by Philip Hughes, who's a musculoskeletal physiotherapist here at Eastbourne House. Exercise Right Week is an annual awareness campaign that aims to highlight the benefits of exercise for physical and mental health and help Australians get the right advice about meeting their physical needs. What role do physiotherapists play in this? Physiotherapists skill are really the exercise professionals. We're the exercise experts, if you will. And um, our training allows us to sort of not only help people who have injuries and prescribe exercising as part of our treatment approach for people who have injuries, but it also helps us um, assess the capacity of people to do exercise and to use exercise in the broader sense for to improve health and well-being as well. Um, physiotherapists are in a position where they can look at the history of the person involved and can make judgments on what's appropriate and what's not appropriate for that person. Exercise certainly isn't a one-size-fits-all. Um, it's really important to tailor exercise to the individual. And physiotherapists are very good at that. They can uh, look at the person, look at their overall needs, look at what their desires are, what their aims for life are, and can tailor a, an exercise program to fit that person. And, and that's really important. Not everyone wants to be an Olympic athlete. Um, some people just want to improve their health or just feel better. And physiotherapists are the people who can really um, look at the exercise options and tailor a program to fit that individual. And so how much exercise does a person need? Well, it varies from person to person. We have Olympic athletes who are training many hours every day, but we also have the everyday mums and dads um, and grandmothers and grandfathers who, of course, aren't going to be doing that sort of intensive exercise. Um, generally speaking, the recommendation is 30 minutes of exercise, um, five to seven days a week. Um, now, some people can't do 30 minutes to start off with, so it might be 10 minutes of exercise. And this is where physiotherapists can advise the appropriate level, which is really important. You don't want to go from zero to hero in your exercising because that's going to just lead to injury and disappointment and frustration. It's really important that you highlight an achievable amount of exercise to start off with and then progress it on from there. You need to sort of prove to yourself that you can consistently exercise. So sometimes exercise may not be formal exercise either. It might, might be walking the dog. Um, it might be getting out in the garden and being active if you're completely inactive, doing something. Uh, small little um, parts of exercise are important. It might be taking the stairs instead of the elevator. Um, but getting out and living life and being active in life can constitute exercise. And from there, you can progress it more and more. But generally speaking, if we can aim to get to 30 minutes of exercise per day, that's a good aim. But as I say, some people need to start lower than that. Thanks, Philip. And you've been working at Eastbourne House since December last year. How have you found the experience? It's been great. I've loved it. Previously, I was uh, I had a, a practice of physiotherapy, private physiotherapy practice for many years, and then I finished my doctorate and I went to teach at the universities and uh, loved that. But then the opportunity came up to get back into practice in December this year, and it has been fantastic. I forgot how good it was to really help people and how satisfying it was to be part of their journey of recovery. And that's been, for me, professionally and personally, very satisfying. Um, and it's been great. I happened to come upon this uh, location here at Eastbourne House um, where I, I really feel like we're one big family here. Um, there are many psychologists here and dif different health professionals here. And uh, we can help each other, feed off each other. And it's a really caring, nurturing environment. And I'm really enjoying my time here. And I think it provides an opportunity for my patients too. If anyone needs some other sort of allied health assistance, such as psychology, um, there are many options here uh, for professionals who um, have a vast array of experience to help my patients. Fantastic. Philip, thanks so much for your time. Cheers. Bye, Gil.